Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video for the new Boston. Now, we've already looked at file uploads and how we can upload different files or or any file rather, which is uh, thinking about it quite insecure. Now, let's say you had a website that allowed their users to upload images. You might want to specify um, a select amount of file types that you can accept and those, or you don't need to specify those you don't accept uh, but you do need to perform checks. Now at the moment um, I've uploaded um, a couple of files so these are JPEG but what happens if I go to upload a file that perhaps uh, doesn't have a JPEG extension? Now obviously we haven't specified anywhere in upload.php where we can't do this so let's go to upload.php um, and let's create a new file uh, let's say um, an uh, a uh, PHP document. So I'm going to call this um, file.php. So we'll change that file extension. Now, what happens if I select this? You can see it's been selected and I click submit. You can see that it's actually uploaded the file. Now, let's go back to our um, uploads directory. You can see uh, this file now exists on the server. So if I click on that, that's run the file. Now, obviously, without without explaining this is uh, very unsecure we've accepted a PHP file type automatically because we have no checks in place to only allow a certain uh, file type so how do we do this now um, we've already discussed in the last video the size and the type um, properties of our file that we've uploaded we're also going to in this tutorial check for the tutorial size in fact we'll do that in the next video because we might run out of time so we want to check for the type of file. Um, okay, so where do we start? Let's just echo out what um, what we see uh, here when we upload. So we'll kill the page just here, and let's go back and we'll upload or click no go on upload.php. Okay, so um, oh yeah, we've killed the script, haven't we? Um, right. Um, Let's comment this out then. Okay, so back to our file. Okay, so I'm going to choose a file and I'm going to choose file.php again. I'm going to click submit and it's got application forward slash octet stream. So um, we could go through a long list of file types we don't allow. However, if I was to click on this, you can see it uh, shows as image forward slash JPEG. So what we want to do is we want the file type to equal this, or we want it to equal like another file type. In this case, I'm just going to be dealing with JPEG. But what we also need to do is take the file name itself, so the name of the file that we're uploading, which is specified here. So let's just concatenate a break onto the end of that for example purposes. So if we refresh that, you can see that this is the name, and this is the f oh, and this is the file type here. So how are we going to go about checking if this has an extension of JPG? What we need to do is we need to uh, use the string position function and uh, also the substring function. What we'll do is we'll be using the substring function to to find where this dot is. Then we're going to be using the string oh no the string position sorry function to find out where the dot is then we're going to be using the substring function to select everything after the dot so that's it and then we've got we end up with this JPEG here and I'm going to demonstrate that first of all um, just so we get that clear so we're going to sort of need to play around a bit with uh, with our functions so let's just uh, in fact we'll keep that um, commented out for now right okay so um, let's not echo these out anymore um, but what we need to do is we need to start dealing with the extension. So I'm going to create a new variable called extension. Now I'm going to start with a substring function and this is going to take two arguments. The first argument it's going to take is the uh, input that you want. So that's name. And the second argument it's going to take is where you want to cut from and end. So we're, we're, we're taking in uh, this, this um, parameter we want to start from a specific position and everything else after that will be uh, regarded as text so for example let's um, let's assume that we know the position so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So because we're starting at 0, that will be 18. So 18, um, we've got the extension there. So let's echo out the extension and see what happens.